Friday evening after my show last week, I logged into Twitter, as one does, and found myself blocked by none other than everybody's favorite socialist AOC. You can see it right here for yourself. Blocked. Now, I am always respectful and civil to her. I've even defended AOC against mean comments against her looks or her past history as a bartender. I only present facts when I rebut her tweets, nothing personal. So you know what this means. Somebody is threatened by facts and by the truth. This is the tweet which made her block me. First, AOC tweeted, Trump spent millions on a poorly attended one-day parade days after saying he couldn't afford toothpaste and soap for caged children. Did he ask Congress for military parade money? No. Trump held these kids hostage to secure billions for their abusers. Congress needs to see that. So I responded and said, stop. You voted no on a $4.5 billion bill to give emergency humanitarian relief to migrant children in the border detention centers. If you wanted to help the kids, you could have, but you didn't. Yeah, the truth stings. But you're a public official, AOC. It's a critical part of our public dialogue and self-government to hold elected officials accountable. Blocking me? Are you kidding? Threatened much by people who challenge your policies and your voting record? I'm also team never block. I have legitimately never blocked a single person on Twitter. I love engaging with people who disagree with me. I guess AOC is not confident enough in her principles to do the same. Also, you would have to be a tech illiterate granny to think that blocking somebody prevents them from seeing your tweets. So that means the only reason to block somebody is so your ideology isn't challenged. There's a fitting word for that, cowardice. Now there are some blue check marks who tried to blame me for getting blocked as if I did something inappropriate other than challenging AOC's voting record, as if my criticism is equal to violence. And here's what I will say to them. Don't even think about blaming me for violence. Violence and threats are 100% wrong. Duh. And it's a hideous and false accusation to try to blame me for other people's disgusting behavior. I challenged her congressional voting record for goodness sake. This is what the left does. They don't like my facts debunking their leftist ideology, so they try to define my speech as violence. This is their sneaky tactic to try to silence me. Because if my speech is violence, they have to shut it down, right? Do not fall for it. Refuse to be silent. This is the biggest point, too. AOC doesn't just want an echo chamber of leftist ideology for herself. She's preventing her followers from seeing the truth. My responses are frequently the top-rated response on her tweets. That means her followers see my fact checks when they view her tweets. That, that scares her. But at the end of the day, AOC is just proving that the tactics in my book, Tipping Points, on how to defeat and debate the left work. She got so scared when I used them on her and exposed her lies that she blocked me. And that's my final point.